everyone and welcome to a very exciting video. Now, I'm very excited about this one because this is a place that I've wanted to go to for a couple of years. It's a place in Nottingham that's been lost to the railway network since 1968. Passenger services finished in 1966 and freight services finished two years later by 1968. And it is a very, very sought after railway tunnel in the centre of Nottingham city centre. It is of course the 1,189 yard length Mansfield Road Tunnel. Opened in 1899. You've got Carrington Station at one end that closed in the 1920s. And you've got Victoria Station at the other end closed by 1966 to passengers. Now we've done Sherwood Rice Tunnel before. We did that in 2021 and there were three tunnels. There's Victoria Street slash Furland Tunnel, there is Mansfield Road Tunnel, and there is Shield Rise Tunnel. So this is the central one. Let's get in there. Let's explore this tunnel, have a quick look inside. This is a chance that I never expect to happen, but we've been asked to go down there, and we've been given the opportunity to go down there and have a look inside. So I'm going to see you at the site of Carrington Station before we go below Nottingham. So let's take a look at railmaponline.com and we can get a little perspective of where we are. So there's the former site of Victoria Railway Station, now occupied by Victoria Shopping Centre. And that is the location of the southern portal of Mansfield Road Tunnel. And if we take a look at the top, we can see the northern portal of Mansfield Road Tunnel also the site of where Carrington Station was and the southern portal of Sherwood Rise Tunnel. And zooming in we can take a little look of where Carrington Station was and it is totally redeveloped. It's all been filled in and it is gone. The portal of Sherwood Rise Tunnel is just here and the portal of the northern end of Mansfield Road Tunnel is right about here. So at the site of the former Carrington Station, and that opened in March 1899, but it only lasted until 1928. It consisted of two platforms, and the special thing about it was that there was a tunnel at each end. It used to be a really deep cutting, so if I show you what it looks like now, but like that, it was a cutting. Over there, we've got Sherwood Rise Tunnel, around about, oh, let me show you. You might just be able to make out a pair of trees and a bit of daylight over there. The portal to Sherwood Rise Tunnel was just down there. As, and after the station closed, it remained derelict for a very, very long time until it was finally infilled and stood right above now the portal of Mansfield Road Tunnel. This one was almost 1,200 yards in length and took you to the former Victoria Station which closed also in the 1960s and since then has had Victoria Shopping Centre built on top of that which is ironically celebrating 50 years of being open this year in 2022. So that's the alignment of where the tunnel goes peaking on top of Mansfield Road over there with an 120 foot depth at its furthest point.
but as you can see it's sandstone wall on both sides We've got recesses look there's recesses every 22 yards and i also believe every quarter of a mile there is also a boffy for plate layers too it's absolutely beautiful isn't it look at this brick arch roof absolutely astonishing we can just make our indentations look from where the sleepers once were on the rails and if i turn about you can see the northern portal i'm shining my light directly on that now look. absolutely astonishing some old signaling equipment here look wooden beam going all the way to the bottom got the old can of Schweppes limeade just there can you make that out yeah that really tiny hole in the wall look there's one of the deeper recesses look for plate layers and there's three of these in this tunnel I believe every quarter of a mile Keep pushing on. I think I found an old supermarket trolley. Look at this. That is absolutely crazy. How long has that been down here? They're in a Tesco store in the Victoria Centre, so I've got to imagine that that's probably just come from there. Little brackets in the sandstone lot, which would have been for cable. Carry in. and if you remember when we've been inside the other tunnel, the Sherwood Rise, they go up and over the recesses. There you go, look, another recess, up and over, and they continue on and on. Let's have a look at the view behind. Just gonna light up a bit more, there we go, look at that, beautiful. There's another little boffy, a plate layers hut. As I said, there's three of these in this tunnel, around about a quarter of a mile apart. I thought we'd seen one earlier, but now after seeing this one, this is probably the first one. All sorts of gubbins and rubbish on the floor, look. It's just been left to ruin for around about six decades. That's our view going forward. It looks like there's another curve coming along. And roughly when we get to the curve, we should be about halfway and around about the deepest depth of the entire tunnel of 120 feet up until the surface of Mansfield Road.
So it's quite a bit of rubble on the floor. It's come down off there, look. You can see the blue brick just sitting above what's left of the sandstone. There's another like boffy lot, and it's still got benches inside it and shelving. Tea light candles. I mean, they were ancient and rusty. They probably it's an old magazine, or it's a map of Victoria Centre. It was. Look at that. No idea what the date is on there, but it's got Twitter and Facebook on it. So somebody has been down here since what? When was Facebook? About 2007. It was 2007, yeah. And uh, new toilets opening autumn 2014. So this has got to be about 2012 13 that this was printed. Yeah. That's brilliant. <laughs> it's quite ironic that the Victoria Centre is in, in here. Sort of death of the yeah, that's celebrated 50 years of being open as well this year. Has it? Yeah, that's its, it's, its birthday. Wow. Where it is. Yeah, so all these bits of gold and sandstone that's visible, I think that would have been covered in salt because it's like a great big collection of like coal dust at the top of salt, look where the brick has been built on top of the carved out sandstone. But that's where it's fell off over the years, maybe got through damp or vibrations above. Because it's all collected down the bottom here. Let's make that a bit dimmer, you can see it better. All the way along, look. Bit of patchwork going off just there. And still all sorts of wooden beams all the way along. Which I think were for like Sherwood Rise Tunnel. And these were probably used to carry the cables like little troughs. Still plenty of ballast on the floor, look, either side, all the way across, it's absolutely covered in ballast. It's like the track of the sleepers and the rails, everything was just lifted out. And it was left, because a lot of them are. Might be a bit of rail buried in there, I don't think it is actually. No, it's made of wood. So it's a lot bright up here. I've jumped back up just to give you a bit of an insight onto where we are. Now I'm stood at Rock Cemetery and we're now at the point at the deepest part of the tunnel, 120 feet. So we've come from our northern portal all the way through. We're at the Rock Cemetery and it's basically followed Mansfield Road to the peak there that you can just see the junction. You've got Mapley Road on the left, Forest Road east on the right and Mansfield Road continues down the hill. So that is the deepest part just there. You're going to see a red lorry go past now. That is exactly where the 120 foot maximum depth of Mansfield Road Tunnel is. So now we've seen that, I'm going to go back down into the tunnel and I'll pick you up above ground at a later point of interest. So a little update on realmaponline.com where we are. We've got Mapley Road East on the right and we've got the A60 and Mansfield Road going from top to bottom. And there's the Rock Cemetery that I was on about and that's where I was stood. And you can see the blue line going down. It follows Mansfield Road before veering off at the junction of the A60 just here and where Mansfield Road carries on down towards the city centre. So what's curious at this point, and you can't really make it out, as you may have just seen, we've come round a left turn. But beyond this um, shopping trolley doing whatever it's doing, and there's another boffy on the left hand side there, look. All sorts in there, look, all chairs, office equipment, even a trolley there, look for tea and cakes. That's really good. It does like an S-bend, so it takes you left, right down there where my beam's hitting it takes a right so why did they feel the need to do the left right s bend what were they going around maybe it was something to do with the crypts and the large graveyards which is on the right hand side of mansfield road although at this point i'm pretty sure we are beyond that
you've just been up there, that's our deepest part at the top of the hill. And our tunnel has run the course down here. And this is the point where the A60 splits from Mansfield Road. But the course of the tunnel, this is where the tunnel took that left bend turn where we've just been down below. And it basically follows the course of the A60. And it pretty much sticks with that for the majority of the route all the way to the former Victoria Railway Station. Let's get back down. Okay, one last reminder of where we are. So you can see the route of the tunnel pretty much takes the route of the 860 and it heads off down towards the southern portal of Mansfield Road Tunnel and into the site of the former Victoria Railway Station. I can just see daylight ahead, which means we come into the southern portal. Oh, look here, we've got some sleepers. There's some sleepers still here, but this is always the same. I say this in nearly every single tunnel we go in. Why is there always a couple left behind? Got another buffy on the right hand side, so that does make three of them. Not really any equipment in there apart from a couple of beams standing upright and a curious ladder going up there. I wonder what that would have been for. Is that even welded in place? Something to do with the signal, isn't it? That's it, that answers that question. So it's a ladder. Well, I'm assuming that used to be just there. Yeah, because there's another bracket just there that's stuck to the wall. Absolutely brilliant, that is, isn't it? The portal is getting ever closer. And there's another Tesco trolley coming up. That makes five, I think, four or five. More fallen mountains on the right hand side. So now you've just seen us do that right turn, and we're about to come out the other end into the former site of Victoria Railway Station. Fourthworth Road's behind me and Woodburn Road is just down here. And you see the route of the road and we just sort of got to come out over in that direction where the portal is. The amount of cable down here on both sides all the way around look. There's your portal boarded up for many decades. There was a time where there was a nice mosaic on the other side. Just showing what looks was. It had a steam locomotive represented, painted on, as if it was coming out of the tunnel. But now, it's just boarded up. A bit of scaffolding holding it up as well. So I think it's time to make our way out of here and thank those and let us in here on this special, rare visit. It's what appears to be an old concrete mile post, look here. That's a nice little surprise, isn't it? It's crazy to think what a busy, bustling cathedral of steam once resided on the other side of there, which is now a car park and shopping centre. This is Woodborough Road. And on the other side of that wall, we've got the portal and our former Victoria Railway Station. So down there, look, you can see the southern portal of our Mansfield Road Tunnel, completely plated up. This was black not until long ago, and I believe part of it got damaged or knocked down in some form so they've redone it with sheets of corrugated metal it looks like it looks very old and second hand like a bit of a bodge job to be fair with what appears a little black box in the middle which maybe is some sort of keyhole maybe there's a door behind that and if you turn it around that's what you've got now that's the view of what was once victoria railway station and it is now this multi-story car park which to me probably one of the worst things that could ever replace any kind of railway station that closed. 
and then we've got another angle from the A60 looking down at our southern portal and we see the lines shot out and filled up the space now occupied by this multi-storey car park for the Victoria Shopping Centre.